Hi everyone, this is Lisa with Fafusha Dolls and thank you so much for joining me today. I'm going to show you how to create these cute top hats. Um, and they are so easy to make. I have done three so far. And as you can see, you can embellish them whichever way you want. No matter what age you are, whether you're 5 or 95, these top hats are too adorable not to wear. They're great for the New Year's coming up, if you have a New Year's party. Um, great for little girls' costumes. Great for dress up. Great for, I was thinking, Fourth of July, red, white, and blue, Independence Day. So many ideas, and it's they're just so much fun. So let's get started. I'm going to show you some the materials you'll need. You're going to need six millimeter foam sheet. It has to be six millimeter, and you need just one sheet. Uh, glitter, glitter sheet. You're gonna need embellishments. If you wanna make your own flowers, you could. there is a great YouTube out there. Um, I believe it's by Tutu Amy. And she teaches you how to make shabby chic flowers uh, with organza acetate. So you can make your own a lot more affordable than going out and buying them already done. You're gonna need a headband, trim, whatever trim you would like, ribbon, um, I used, I just found whatever I had in my craft closet. And you will need your templates. I will be providing my templates on my website. So just cut them out, have them ready. And what I already did, I already pre-cut my, my um, foam sheet. So if you could just cut everything beforehand, it'll be a lot easier. I already cut all my my um, shapes and whatever I wanted beforehand. You're gonna need your glue gun. So let's get started. Um, also, don't forget your scissors. You need a good pair of scissors. Oh, and a toothpick. Okay, so the templates, there are two templates. One is smaller than the other one. The small one's the white sheet or whatever color you could find as long as six millimeter foam. The larger one is gonna be the glitter sheet. And when you line them up together, my template is not perfect, that's okay. It's a great guide anyways, and if I can use it, so can you. It's, it's actually very easy to use. What you do is, you need to have this clearance to create the top part of the hat, so make sure you have enough opening. And when you put them together, you notice that they're not a perfect fit you have excess and that's fine because what I'm going to do is you're going to shave it down. I'm going to cut down and keep cutting down until I'm completely comfortable when the glitter sheet covers it. So you just cut down little by little, not too much, just little by little. And as you keep joining them, once you're comfortable that they are completely covered by the glitter sheet, then you can glue it. Like right now, I'm not comfortable, I still see white. So I'm gonna cut down a little bit more. Again, my templates are not perfect, I'm sorry for that. I just, it was the best that I could do with the little time that I was able to do it and I wanted to have this YouTube up, especially now for the coming New Year's celebrations. Okay, so let's try this one more time. And let's see if I can join this and if I feel comfortable gluing and I do I feel comfortable gluing now because I see that the white is going to be completely covered you see now leave this alone you're only gonna glue this and you're gonna glue it little by little you're not gonna I don't recommend you gluing it all in one shot because six millimeter foam is not as easy to manipulate as your two millimeter foam So just glue little by little and join it and hold down and just wait. There are tutorials how to make top hats from fabric and, and cardboard. Um, again, this top hat is completely foam, made out of foam sheets. Okay, keep 
pressing together. Um, the six millimeter foam, it, it is a little harder, trust me, to work with, but it can be done. I usually need a little more time. I'm gonna add more glue and join once again. And hold in place. I tried doing it all in one shot, but it just made a mess and I couldn't hold it and that's why I'm just doing it one by one, one little by little. You can wipe off the excess with just a scrap sheet. All right, I'm gonna hold it down. Okay, I'm gonna, you see how I kind of just have a mind of its own, it starts to open apart. I'm gonna keep pressing. That's the only part that's a little time consuming, but once you get the hang of it, and um, if you wanna work, if you wanna make multiples, I recommend you work like in an assembly line. Just cut all your sheets, cut all your white sheets, cut your glitter sheets, get your roses ready, your embellishments ready. That way you can make more than one at a time, you know, you you work a lot faster than cutting one by one and Okay. Now I'm adding more glue and I'm doing the top. And I'm just holding it. You see how it kind of just wants to come apart? You keep holding it down. If you need to add more glue, go ahead, just add another dab of glue. I'm going to add more. I'm gonna keep squeezing. The good thing is that this is all covered up with the glitter foam sheet. So whether you're wearing a top hat or giving it as a gift, uh, this part's not really seen. So it really is no big deal how messy it is. I keep pinching. I'm gonna keep squeezing. This is interesting. I've never worked with six millimeter until now. Okay. All right, you see how it's glued? It stayed in its place. And it's pretty, it's pretty good. It's pretty solid. I feel comfortable. Once you feel like you're good to go, then you can start gluing this part. But before we do that, I just want to align it one more time. And you're going to have to squeeze it in and kind of stretch it a little bit. I also want to make sure that I have enough clearance here because we have to cut from the six millimeter one, a top kind of like this. And it has to go in here. So I want to make sure that that I have enough clearance. You see, I don't mind seeing a little bit. I just don't want to see a lot of it because you're going to cover this with ribbon. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to trim this down a bit. You see how there's a little, a little extra? I could trim that down. And so can you. And here I go again, I'm going to edge, one edge to the other edge. And I feel comfortable. I have enough clearance for this top. Perfect. And I know that I'm going to be able to cover this up. 
So let's start to glue this down. Edge to edge, and then this edge has to be aligned with this edge. And you could stretch it out a bit if you like. I'm gonna glue just a little bit, not too much. I don't wanna put too much glue on here. You don't really need it. Save your glue. Okay, now I'm gonna, this is gonna be the tricky part because now you gotta kinda have to pull and squeeze to cover that part. But again, you can, you can play with this before you start to glue it all together and you can cut the excess like I said. Okay, now I'm just gonna squeeze it. Squeeze it and pull it. Okay, I feel perfectly fine. You could squeeze a little bit more until you know that your hot glue has completely dried up and and it's good to go. Okay, I feel fine. I, I like it. I like that's okay. I'm perfectly fine with that. This is fine. Um, this, there's a little bit of excess here. I'm going to trim this down. Okay, so I'm cutting excess off. And what I'm going to do now is, with your circle, you're going to cut a circle. That's going to be the bottom. But before you glue it down, you're going to glue just a black, or whatever color you want, um, square shape foam sheet. Um, this is going to be the reinforcement you need for the um, headband to go through. You're going to need this. So glue it down, just put a little bit of glue, okay, and now I'm going to glue my, this edge, bottom edge, onto the circle, and you're set there, your head is now taking shape. You're going to cut this part. Cut this part and just cut. Perfect. So you just cut that part out. Now, if you're wondering how I got that curvy look, you see how, I don't even know if you can appreciate it. Sorry, because of the angle of the camera. Uh, if you want to curve it, I don't have my iron with me right now. Um, what you can do is grab your piece of fabric, put it on here and iron it. Just put your iron on side by side and it will curve up. Remember the heat will make it curve up. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna show you how to top Top it off, like put the top on it, and we'll be done. I'm trying to speed it up as much as I can. Okay, you're gonna need your six millimeter foam sheet, and you're going to trace the bottom. So with your toothpick, trace it. There is no template for this. This is the actual trace of your hat. Cut it. Just cut, cut, cut. I'm actually doing it a little bit faster than usual just because I'm trying to speed up the YouTube tutorial. Okay. The top is going to go here. Okay, I did it a little too fast. It's not fitting. That's okay. I'm going to trim it down. I 
should work now. Perfect, now it works. This is going to be the top. It's a little bit um, extra here. If you do a good trace, you should be fine. I was just speeding it up, so <laughs> that's why it's not fitting. Okay, I'm going to put glue on that bottom here. And you're going to put in your, your top. To close it up, you're going to get your glitter foam, foam sheet. I'm not going to close it up. You can do it on your own. You figure it out. It's the same exact way as the white. Trace, cut, and place it on top. Now I'm going to show you how to put the headband through. There's an opening here. And just rub it in. Rub it in because you want to make sure you're going through that opening. Through the, ho the hollow part of the top hat. And with a with your scissor, you're going to pierce through and cut straight down. And then on the other end, cut, pierce through, cut straight down. You're gonna grab your Okay, my headband. And you're going to run it. This is a little tricky, but it can be done. Put it through gently. Do not do not put too much force in it because you don't want this foam sheet to rip on you. Okay, gently run it through. There. I'm good there. Perfect. You see? And it's going to stay in place. And that's how you create a foam headband made out of foam sheets. You would just need to finish up with embellishments. Add whatever you would like. Flowers, ribbon, trim. Um, don't forget you need to finish it off with a... You could do a different color. It could be any color. And you're done. And that's how easy it is. Really, really easy. You will, can create tons of these. Okay, well, thanks for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this easy tutorial. Check out my website for the templates. Happy New Year. And I will see you again in 2015. Lots of new stuff come, stuff and items are coming. Take care and God bless. Bye-bye.